Star Wars is a beloved IP in theaters and in video games. There was a potential leak or potential sneak peek of a Beth not Bethesda style. Well, I want to say Bethesda style. Or hopefully it's a Bethesda style for me. Kind of Star Wars game. You know, we know for a fact, this is a big rumor that they are working on a Disney IP. Disney IP for Star Wars or presumably Star Wars. There's certain bits and pieces of evidence that I have here that indicate that is the case. With the recent Bethesda leak from Microsoft, we saw some IPs in there, but we don't know if specifically for Bethesda in general. It wasn't in the little time bracket, let alone the time frame, but we know things can change. Like Phil Spencer said, the, some of the list is real, some of it isn't. And a video came out recently on Twitter and it's from Idle Sloth, but the people talking in it pretty much have leaked uh, something about Star Wars coming. And I think I got a good idea what it could be. Let's check this thing out real quick. All right, this is here. Let's listen to what they have to say, people. Let's listen. May have given me a little bit of information about this roadmap, by the way. Hmm. Something that sort of piqued everyone's interest in that list was licensed IP game. So I asked a few questions about mm -hmm. this licensed IP game. Yeah, see, they have it right so here. What is that? Licensed IP. And after IP. some back and forth and some arguments mm -hmm. and some insults and my feelings being a little bit hurt at some of the things <laughs> that were being said to me. Okay. As long as the ego's okay, we're good. I've heard, I've heard that that licensed IP game is under the um, mm -hmm. Disney banner. Hopefully that it is. That narrows it down to 14,000 IPs. Yep. <laughs> Trust me, I wanted to say more, but hey, all if I was it's Star Wars, say, that'd be a good idea. It's under the Disney banner. Because it's so banner. rich and developed. Like, it's so, it's a gonna, rich universe. We're not gonna make anyone sad and spoil anything like that. We're very nice. So that that that's a few possibilities there. Hmm. Quite a lot of possibilities, as Jesse game. suggested. Because it could be straight up Disney, like Disney Disney, as in Hopefully. Mickey Mouse Disney. You know what I'm saying? It could be Hopefully. Marvel. Hopefully, you know what I mean. Do we know the Disney? date on this slide. Could be Hello? Lucasfilm. Lucasfilm. Ooh. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Could be a few things. Okay, that was a little snippet right there. Now. This right here is also being kind of confirmed. We know for a fact, this has been doing some more evidence. Look, look right here. Look what it says. This guy right here, Eliski Provo Trovo. Tro Sorry, man, I butchered your name, bro. Eliski Provo senior producer at Saber Interactive. And you go down here, this is what he's been working on. An unannounced AAA project, Star Wars franchise, June last year. Hmm. You putting two and two together do we know for a fact that it's not jedi fallen or jedi follower was just recently a announced just recently announced he there's no telling how when did he update this or what and it got me thinking are they trying to revive a star wars 13 13 kind of clone we know for a fact they want to revive old projects we know for a fact that Star Wars is, is pretty much doing really good right now. They've canceled a lot of Star Wars games and they're trying to bring back some old ones. And they got me thinking. What's popular in Star Wars right now? The Mandalorian. Here we go, people. This is where the clock is ticking. This right here is where my brain is going towards. It would probably be a single player IP. Multiplayer IPs is not doing good right now. Xbox needs some pure IPs. If this is a pure... IP for Xbox. They need a single player over the shoulder title. That's just the staple right now. That is what they want to do, like Star Wars Outlaws. Hopefully, this is for Xbox. And if it's the Mandalorian, I've done some research, people. I saw this guy's mock ups. We'll, we'll go to right here. I saw this guy's mock ups to what these IPs are going to be. Look at this. This is crazy. Come on, The Way of the Warrior. This looks dope. This isn't real, people, 100%. This isn't real. But a Mandalorian single-player game could work. Look at this title screen. Cool, compact. Yeah, I'm taking a jab. Come on, man, people. Look at this. Boom, environment changes. Look at this. Standalone Mandalorian style? 
big open world like Jedi Fallen Order, but instead of a Jedi, you're just a Mandalorian. You're Stormtrooper or somebody. Dude, this looks fire. This is, the potential is there. The style is there. This is what we want. Look at this. Look. They're just going at it. Look at this. For the final, man, look at this. Customizations and new helmets, stuff like that. You have the you have the tidings and elements of you being a good Star Wars game like that. Third person, customizing your Mandalorian going around. This is a Boba Fett style. Helmet number one. There's probably some DLC bonus, something like that. You can have a compelling story of a smuggler doing their making their way through the galaxy, being a bounty, a pure bounty hunter, taking out set Jedi and Sith alike in the old style. You know what I'm saying? You can have it in the old Republic or the High Republic, as long as it works, people. This is a very, very good indication if they can do something like this and i can't wait man look at this open world look come on man you can't tell me this don't look good this is a mock-up people just think what they can truly do you can have your little abilities on the side you have your jetpack boosters you can have the you can have a vibro blade you can have a armor piercing rounds you can have a staff and it's a bethesda style game they come on people if bethesda did it they their little thing will be really dope. It doesn't have to be Bethesda Softworks, of course. You can bring, you can have it be Arcane. You can be the people, people that made Doom. But either say, the love and care is there. It is there, people. It's so Star Wars, Star Wars is so rich of an IP that you can do a lot of stuff with it. Like, it's gotta be a hundred. Just keep it a hundred. It gotta be a buck. Like, look at this. We have fully realized towns. You can, it could be an open world game or it could be a giant zone game like Final Fantasy 16, man. All I'm going to say is, th this is a good look, but only time will tell. Do I want an Xbox-owned Star Wars game, specifically IP? Yes. Or, you know, because Xbox needs some pure games, you know what I mean? But this is a good step in the right direction. And and hopefully, if it's, if it's under Bethesda's Ruler House and Rodeo... They can do it, man. And I have trust in them. All right, y'all. Like, share, subscribe, peace, for more gaming content.